Hey guys, it's Trey and Nick, Seymour Art at Fact Adventures. We're out here on the village today and I was walking up along this and I just, you see all these flakes laying down here. And there's this little edge, I already picked it up. I just thought it was a flake. And I was already walking up the road when I realized what it was. It is crude. I can't believe you saw that. <laughs> it's like a little Adina. It's crude though. That's the second one you found right here in this little spot. Yeah, I found a little blunt here once too. All right. I'll find something else. We'll get back with you later. Okay, guys, we're back. I don't know if this is going to be anything. I think I might have spotted a bird point that the cows kicked up. Looks like a base sticking up there. We don't know. Oh, it is. Oh, it's Dang. got the tip snapped off. Well, I don't know how you saw that one there. That was awful. Well, you got two today. Just missing the tip. Oh, well. We'll get back with you later, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Nick spotted a bird point down here. I was just walking by and I happened to look down. It's got like a little notch cut out of the one side, but I think it's a little Madison. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's a little point, but it's got a little damage right there. But I'll take that. I was just gandering at all this pottery right here. I saw this piece here, looked at it, but I also think I got an unfired piece of pottery right here. I'll have to clean it up, but that's definitely what that is. Take that with me. Heck yeah. All right, guys, we find something else. We'll get back with you later. Okay, guys, we're back. Doing a little better today than we usually do. <laughs> I think I got a base sitting down here. I don't know if it's whole or not. Sure looks like a base. It looks like it runs up in the dirt a little ways. Oh, I hope it's all there for you. That's an odd one. Is that a drill? I don't know. Oh, it's still going. Oh, nice. It's just maybe barely broke, isn't it? Yeah, it's just used up. Got the tip broke off. Good eye on that one. We were just talking about my wife found two, like a foot apart right here one day and must have been right with that stuff. She's got a little bit of the tip broke off, but resharpened a bunch. Was that your third one today? I think so. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get back if we find something else. Later, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Nick's thinking we might have something laying down here. It's hard to tell what it is. We get down here. Just walking down the hillside and I spotted it. It may just be like a midsection or something. I don't really know, but it's sugar quartz. Let's see what we got. Uh, it could be a little bitty flake blade or something. Looks like it's got some working on that side. Yeah, I tell you, it does. Nice little piece. All right. Heck yeah. Later, guys. Here you go, guys. Got a bottle sticking down here, and it's embossed on the side. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's busted. Dr. J. Hofstetter's stomach bitters. Got the top busted off of it. The only thing on it. That's pretty cool. All right. If we find anything else, we'll be back.
Later. Okay guys, Nick has something over here. It might, we're not sure if it is or not. We found stuff like this before. We think it's the ends of pottery coils where they've made pots. Go ahead and pull it out, Nick. They're always in tubes. Did you show all the pottery right up here around it? You can see all the little bitty pieces here. That's the whole reason I looked there. And then there's some pieces. Yeah, there's coming off the hill there. pottery all over the place. This thing, it's round all the way around. And you can see where it's kind of oval shaped where they were rolling it in their fingers or on a flat surface. It's even got little indentions in it and they're always snapped off on the ends like when you're making a a coil pot when you got to the end it, you just break off the end of the coil that you didn't need sometimes you clean them up you'll find their fingerprints in it we'll see if this one's got any prints i clean it all right if we find anything else we'll get back with you later all right guys i'm back I just wanted to show these, since we found that other one a while ago, I wanted to show you these coils that I've got. We are almost positive this is from coils that they were making coil pots with. Here's one. They're always rounded on the end. And this one, you can kind of see it's got little indentions like, your, like it's got fingerprints in it where they were rolling it like that. And they're always broke off like it was the end of the coil to make the pot. Here's another one. I have black pottery. And this one, I don't know if this was a coil, but it's got a hole in it. And as you can see, it's broke off of something. I don't know if that was a pendant or something they were just playing with and left it on the ground and it's hardened. It feels fired. Just thought you guys might like to see that. Okay guys, we're gonna do a little wrap up video. Here's a nutting stone I found. It's only got the, the pit on the one side. They might've started hitting it on this side. Then I got a piece of an ax. That right there is just polished like crazy. Then I had a piece of one and a little thumb scraper. And then I got these three points. That one's kind of busted up. Same with the birdie. And here's Nick's stuff. He found a couple pieces of hard stone. And here's a piece of pottery that he found. And it's kind of odd. It's real thick kind of flat on that side and round it off around the edges. I don't know what that was. There's no telling what they made out of pottery and used for tools and. Here you go, guys. Here's the one that Nick just found today. And here's two more that he's got. They're always flat on one side and then they're like mounded up. I don't know what these are, but this is like I've seen like two more than these and they've all come up here off this uh, village site. Well, I think I've got two or three of them at the house. If anybody knows what these are, you have to let us know in the comments below. We're always curious to find out new things. All right. And here's the coil all cleaned up. You can kind of see the profile of it. And that's it's probably longer at one time and it broke. And that was probably the original where they snapped it off from making the pot. Like I said, you can see little bitty indentions like fingerprints. And like Nick said, we have a couple of these that actually have fingerprints in them. It's really neat. And 
Here's Nick's bird point he found. Nice one. And here's that little sugar quartz knife. All right. Well, thanks for joining us.